Okay. Today I was thinking we would start in uh, uh, Isaiah 6, exactly the words we sang right now, I guess. Ma täna mõtlesin, et alustame Jesaja 16 peadukist ja see on vist täpselt see, mida me just laulsime. And uh, it's of course when uh, the prophet Isaiah is called. See on siis, kui prophet Jesaja kutsuti. And he has an encounter with the most holy one in the temple. Ja tal on kohtumine kõige pühamaga templis. And uh, it says like this. Ja ta ütleb nii. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Sel aastal, kui kuningas Uzziah suri, nägin ma issandat istuvad suurel ja kõrgel aujärjel, ja tema kuue palistused ulatusid templi seinast seina, Jesaja 6.1. Above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings, with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. Temast kõrgemal seisid seeravid. Iga ühel neist oli kuus tiiba. Kahega ta kattis oma palet, kahega ta kattis oma jalgu ja kahega ta lendas. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Ja need hüüdsid üksteisele ning ütlesid, Püha, püha, püha on vägede issand. Kogu maailm on täis tema au. So I remember I read this scripture when I was a very young pastor. Mäletan, et ma lugesin seda kirja kohta siis kui ma olin väga noor pastor. This was my first placement after theological seminary. Ja see oli mu esimene töökoht peale teoloogilist seminaari. And I was in a church a bit north in Sweden. Ja ma olin ühes koguduses, mis oli Põhja-Rootsis. And um, we had a kind of a crisis in the churches in the church. Ja selles um, koguduses oli teatav kriis. In the sense that one of the main leaders and one of the strong persons, so to say, in the church. Ja üks koguduse sellistest tugevatest juhtidest ja ka tugev isiksus. He, he got a, a, a cerebral hemorrhage, you know. Ja tal oli aju vere jooks. Yeah. So he was very, uh, very bad. <laughs> ta oli väga kehvas seisus. And it, it was just, you know, in, in Sweden... It was also at the time when the, the faith movement uh, was very strong. Ja see Rootsis oli see aeg, kus see ususõna liikumine oli väga tugev. Word of life. Elusõna and, siis. They were at their peak, so to Nad say. Olid, uh, siis nealta tipus. So, and the, this, uh, this family was very, very into that. Ja kogu see perekond oli nagu väga selles liikumises. So, you know, they were, they were cursing this, uh, this sickness. <laughs> ja nad siis neidsid seda haigust. They were praying in the name of Jesus. Ja nad palvetsid Jeesuse nimel. He should be healed and, you know, ja by see, faith. Ja see pead and saama terveks they, usu läbi. They, so, they, they also came into a kind of a situation that we can do sometimes, you know, where they, it was hard to to give them comfort. <laughs> ja, ja nad sattusid nagu sellisesse olukorda, kuhu meie ka vahest võime sattuda sellises Because, usu võitluses. Neil oli raske, kui neid oli raske lohutada. Comfort always almost became unbelief. <laughs> Selle pärast, et lohutamine tundus juba uskmatusena. Amen. So it was a tense situation. Ja see oli väga pingeline olukord. And we struggled with these things. Ja me vahest võitleme sellist asjadega. Some of you are so young so you don't maybe understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mõned teist on nii noored, et te veel ei saa aru, millest ma uh, but, räägin praegu. Uh, those who were uh, Uh, were uh, present at the time know the tension that Aga could be in this. Kes on nendel aegadel elanud, teavad, mis pinged siis üles tulid. Amen. Uh, you know, I remember Mina the, uh, one of the faith churches Üh, they, uh, they, um, you know, if they uh, in the beginning met someone from the church in, the, in you know, at the apothec, you know, Uh, you know, what's the name of it, um, where you buy medicine? Ah, kui, nad, kui näiteks need ususõna liikumise inimesed <laughs> kohtasid koguduse liiget apteegis. They looked at them and said, what are, what are you doing here? Ja siis oli, mis asja sa siin teed? <laughs> don't, you stand in, don't you stand in faith? <laughs> Kas sa ei seisa usus? <laughs> so, it was a tense time, you know. <laughs> See oli väga sõike pingete rohke well, aeg. Any, anyway, so, I read this scripture. Ja siis ma lugesin seda tiibli kohta. It was a messy situation. Ja see oli selline segane olukord. The, the family suffered so much. See perekond kannatas nii palju. The man suffered so much. See mees kannatas. Both from the sickness. 
But both with the questions and doubts, you know, why doesn't God heal this man? You understand? So, and I was in the middle of it. I was maybe just 20, 21 years of age. And what could I say? What could I do? So I, I read the scripture. And then I noticed it said, the it says that the, 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 the angels or the heavenly beings they were crying, holy, holy, holy. The whole earth is full of his glory. And I was thinking to myself, how can they say like that? How can they say that the whole earth is full of his glory. Kuidas nad saavad öelda, et terve maailm on täis I mean, Jumala au? I was in a situation that was certainly not full of glory. Mina olin keset olukorda, kus a, et seda au näha ei olnud. It was messy, it was painful, it see was valus, dark. See oli segane, see oli pime. It was hope, hopeless, you know. See oli lootusetu. Do you understand? So if the angels would have cried out, if the seraphims would have cried, you know, the whole heaven is full of glory. Ja kui nüüd need seeravid oleks üüdnud, et terve taevas on täis Jumala au. I would have said amen. Ma oleks aamen selle peale öelda. Take me there. Hallelujah. Viimi taevasse palu. Amen. Because that would be totally compatible with my experience. See oleks olnud kohane sellega, mida ma kogesin. Amen. So you mean, but they didn't cry out that, did they? Aga see ravad ei üüdnud nii ju. Eks? They cried out. Nad ütlesid the whole earth. Terve maailm. The whole earth. Terve maailm is full. On täis of his glory. Jumala au. Amen. So I, I really thought about that. Ja siis ma hakkasin mõtlema tõesti selle peale. Either there is something wrong with scripture or me. <laughs> Kaks varianti, kas pühakirjas on midagi valesti või mina saan hmm. valesti aru. What, what is the choice? Mm. Ja mis see valik siis nüüd on? <laughs> But you know, many say, well, there is something wrong with scripture. Aga väga paljud ütlevad, et ongi, piipis on kuskil viga. No, they wouldn't say it like that. No, nii ei ütleks päris. It's wrong, but they would say, well, võib-olla the way ütlevad, we are going to understand this. Aga nad võib-olla ütlevad pehmemalt, et no see, kuidas me tõlgendame seda, you know, kuidas me aru saame, ei pruugi olla see. Have an explanation for it. <laughs> so, so, I carried this, uh, this um, question within me. Siis ma kantsin seda küsimust ise endas südames. What was I missing? Mit, mit, mis mul nägemata on? How could the prawns pronunciation from the seraphims be the whole earth is Kud, full of his glory. Kuidas saab see seeravite hüüd olla terve maailm on täis tema au? Now later in in life I came as probably you have done also to an important concept in scripture. Hiljem elus jõudsin ma ühed olulisse piibli põhimõtte juurde. No, I take my, I, I, I take a reroute now a bit I, and I will end up in this, okay? Ma natuke teen üheikse tuuri nüüd või so, ekskursi ja tulen tagasi siia. I, I, I read this uh, scripture in Romans 12. See oli Rooma 12. peatükis mitu. Rooma 12. peatükis. Mhm. Thanks. Yeah, it's okay. Do you need one it's as okay. well? It's okay. Uh, Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Nüüd vennad, kutsun ma teid üles Jumala suure halastuse pärast tooma oma ihud Jumalale elavaks, pühaks ja meelepäraseks ohvriks see olgu teie mõistlik Jumala teenistus so the only real service before God nii et õig, ainus tõeline is that, Jumala teenistus is that you present yourself <laughs> on see, et sa annad ise ennast amen <laughs> so that's very important but then he says like this aga siis ta ütleb and do not be conformed to this world Ja ärge muganduge praeguse ajaga. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Vaid muutuge meele uuendamise teel. That you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Et te katsuksite läbi, mis on Jumala tahtmine, mis on hea ja meelepärane ja täiuslik. So, 
when I, when I studied it, I, I understood Kui ma seda kirjakohta uurisin, siis ma sain aru, that the way that it's very crucial and important et on kriitiliselt oluline how we understand the, uh, our surroundings. Kuidas me mõistame oma ümbritsevat maailma. And that's an essential, an essential thing for a believer ja, is how he views the world. Ja uskliku jaoks on üks, üks alust rajav nagu asi see, kuidas ta näeb maailma. Now, Paul is actually using a Greek word here. Paulus kasutab siin ühte kreeka keelset sõna tegelikult. Where he says, do not conform to the patterns of this world. Mis tegelikult ütleb niimoodi, et ärge nagu minge maailma mustrites, ärge kohanege nendega. Or the patterns of this age. Või selle ajastu mustritega. So you see, one thing that is very, very important for you and me to understand. Üks asi, mida me tõesti peame väga tähtsaks pidama is, ja aru saama. Is that the way we understand things is coming from a pattern. Et see, kuidas me asjadest aru saame, see tuleb teatavatest mudelitest. It is not that we are so innovative in our thinking. Me ei ole oma mõtlemises nii innovatiivsed tegelikult, kui me no, arvame. No, our thoughts and our way we see and perceive things are coming from patterns inside our mind. Ja see, kuidas me näeme asju, kuidas me hindame asju, see tuleb tegelikult põhimõtetest ja, ja ideedest, mis on meie mõtte maailmas. Do you know that even our brains are constructed that way? Kas te tead, et meie aju ongi nii tehtud? The, uh, when you focus on something very much, kui sa fokuseerid või keskendud millelegi väga, the synapses of your brain begins to adapt to that kind of information. Siis sinu aju sünapsid või need ühendused hakkavad kohanema selle sama asjaga, millel sa keskendud. So that your thinking, so to say, corresponds to the information and the perception that you have created. Ja, ja siis su mõtlemine nagu mugandub või kohandub selle kohas, et mida sa oled tähelepannud ja nagu tähelepannu alla võtnud. So when you are thinking, you're always thinking patterns. Nii et kui sa mõtled, sa mõtled kogu aeg mingites mudelites või mustrites. It's like, you know, in, in, um, we, we live in a, a house, a villa. Me ei elame ühes villas. And, um, you know, our, our, our house is here. Me ei on seal. And then we have the garden behind. Ja siis on tagajad. And then we have a street uh, in front. Siis on täna vees. And then just here at the side is the bus stop. Ja siis seal paremal pool on bussipeatus. So all these years when our kids has run, been running to school. Ja kõik need aastat, kui meil lapsed on kooli jooksnud. They have taken the bus. Nad on bussiga okay. läinud. So the normal way to go to the bus. Nii et see normaalne viis nende I mean, bussi peale minna. It's like 30 or, 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 or 30 or 40 meters to the bus stop. See on mingi 30-40 meetrit bussipeatus. So ette. normally you would go out on the street. Sa lahed and then you will go so to say around and to the bus stop ja siis sa lähed teed väikse ringi ja that would be you know the normal way to do it see oleks nende jaoks normaalne but tee. between our house and the bus stop is a little green field uh, you know aga uh, meie grass. meie maja ja selle bussipeatuse vahel so on väike roha ja of course our kids are never in good time to ja the bus ja loomulikult meie lapsed ei lähe kuran kõigile luksust all välja way, always in the last second alati viimasel sekundil <laughs> running out of the door. Jooksevad. I never understand that concept. Ma ei ole sellest asjast kuna kärusan. I'm saying to go out one minute before. Ma olen öelnud, mine no. üks minut varem. It välja. is impossible. See on võimatu. Every day they are running out. Where is my stuff? Where is my stuff? Eh, viimasel hetkel, kus on mu kott, kus out, on mu asjad? And out to the bus, you know. Ja sinna bussi peale. Then of course they don't take the regular. Ja loomulikult nad no, ei lähe mööda täna. But they cross on the grass. Nad lähevad rohust läbi. So every every autumn Igal sügisel, you know, when they start school, kui sügisel, kool the algab, green grass there is very nice. See, see rohe ala on seal no. enne väga ilus. But then they are running over there. Ja siis nad kogu aeg jooksevad seda läbi. And you know, when, when you are running over something many times, ja kui sa kuskid pidevalt läbi jooksed, a little, little, you know, a little, little, what do you say? Um, path? Path, thank you, is, is created. Siis sa lõpuks teed first, first everyone is running, you know, when 
they are running a bit on the side. Ja alguses kõik jooksevad natuke niimoodi then, üks ühes teine teises kohas. There is a little path when siis they when, a, when the grass is growing that has been, you know, pushed down. Ja siis see rohi surutakse maha seal. And then everyone is running on that. Ja siis kõik on näevad teid ja lähevad teid pidi. You know, you don't want to run in the big grass but in See lähe ju suure rohu sisse kui tee on. And then olevad. after a while it, the grass is totally gone, you know. Ja siis lõpuks on see rohi kadunud seal. Amen. So now there is a little path. Nüüd on seal teerada. So people rather go on the path. Ja inimesed know. kasutavad seda teerada. And that's how it's been in all human history of course. Ja see on inimajalus kogu aeg nii Some old uh, stone age man. <laughs> Mõned vanad kivi ja inimesed. Went out hunting, you know. Ja läksid jahile. And then uh, the others followed. Ja teised tulid järgi. And then it became a, a path. Ja siis sai sellest teerada. But then they wanted to bring their wives and children. Ja siga tasid naised lapsed ka võtta kaasa. And then, you know, they had to make a little road. Ja siis pidi natuke tee laiemaks Amen. mida. <laughs> and but then they said it's very it, it takes a long time to go. Ja siis tuli siit et sa pidi ka pikk tee. We want to bring our 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 uh, 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 horses. Me võtame obused ka. So then they made a little more road. Na tegid veel tee laiemaks. Wouldn't it be nice to take everyone in a wagon, you know? Aga võtame kõik vaguniga kaasa. So then they made a little more room. Ja te läks veel laiemaks. And you see what's happening? Sa mis Then someone with a wagon said, "Oh, I, I, I will cross the trees in the in the forest." Ja, ja mõned seal vagunes ütlesid, et miks me peame ümber puude minema? Of course not. It would be much more convenient to take the road. Oleks oleks väga lihtne minna otsa teed pidi. Do you understand? So what happens see, is juhtub, on see, when things are repeated. Kui asju korratakse. Patterns are created. Sünnivad mustrid. That's exactly how you and I work. Ja see on täpselt see, kuidas meie ka toimime. Do you understand? So, you know, then we have a place siis meil on üks koht where many, many people wants to travel. Korraga meil on üks koht, kus paljud inimesed tahavad meil on sellel teerajal käia. Three or four or five lanes in each direction. Ja mõlemas suunas on viis rida. We call it a highway. Ja see on juba kiirte. And many, many people can travel on ja väga paljud rändavad seal edasi tagasi. Amen. Thousands of cars. Kiir, kiiremates autodes järjest. It's not like the little path. See ei ole enam väike teerada. In our uh, you know, in greenfield. It has developed. See on arenenud. To take more information. Võtab juurde informatsiooni. Exactly the way it works inside of you. Ja sama moodi, sama asi toimub meie see. Some thoughts on mõned mõtted are random. On siuksed juhuslikud. So you just you haven't met that thought before. Sa ei ole seda mõelnud enne. You haven't had that conception before. Sul pole seda konseptsioonigi olnud. So it's like you running over the green field just Sa for the first or second time, you understand? Juhuslikult. Nothing is created. Midagi ei ole loodud veel. Nothing is, you know, <laughs> no path has been done. Teeratu pole. But then you begin to repeat that Aga concept. Siis hakkad seda konseptsiooni kordama. And you begin to reiterate it, <laughs> reiterate it, you know, do it again. Ja sa mõtku teed ja teed seda uuesti. Okay? And then it becomes a little pattern inside of you. Ja väike muster su sisse tekib niimoodi. But then you start to think about something very often. Ja siis hakkad sellest juba päris tihti mõtlema. And then the pattern grows bigger. Ja see teerada laieneb. Some things maybe have been a conception or something you have thought or uh, you know conceived in your your inner being for 10 or 20 or 30 years. Mit sul veib olla ideid või või mõtteid, mida sa oled mingi 10-15 aastat oma südames niimoodi vaikselt kandnud. So it's like a highway inside of yourself. Ja ja tegelikult su sees on juba kiir tee. Amen. Some uh, you know Sometimes there are things Mõnikord on asju so deeply imprinted in us mis on meie sisse nagu mustritena nii sügavalt vajutatud so once we enter up on the highway of it et kui me lõpuks selle kiirde avastame seal we have a very hard time coming out of it siis meil on väga raske sealt üle üldse I mean, välja pääseda that most often happens when when we get what what the bible tells us it says there are strongholds in your mind ja piibel ütleb et need on need kindlustused meie sees amen so something has been such a strong part of us mingi asi on nii võrd tugev olnud meie seesse so once we get into 
that area, <laughs> we have a hard time finding an exit from it, you know. Many, many people struggle with what we call rejection, for example. It's the, it's the sense or feeling of being unloved. Of not being, being appreciated. Not being seen. So when that hits many people because they have had it maybe since they were children. They're locked into that feeling. And they know that they should, you know, it, it, it is childish or ridiculous to, to uh, feel that way or ja, think ja that. Ja But still they can get out of it. Aga nad ei saa välja. Or It's like the way it is for many, unfortunately, for many men. They have, at some time in their lives, they have been exposed to pornography. And then when they kind of, it, it invades their inner, in, inner world. Ja, ja see kuidagi sõidab sisse nende sisemaailma. So when they see some, some, something of the kind, ja kui nad midagi sarnast näevad, siis they välja get up on the highway, so to say. Siis kohe on see kiir teenendes ees. And they can't find a, an exit. Ja nad ei leia välja pääsu. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, for someone that hasn't... Uh, I mean, for ladies, it's most uh, difficult to understand that concept sometimes. Ja, ja naistel on mõnikord väga raske just sed, seda asja mõista. Because m- most often they don't have that highway inside of Sest themselves. Sest enamasti seda kiirteed ei ole nende But they can have totally other highways ah, that are very, very hard for men to understand. <laughs> Milles mehed üldse aru ei saa. Do you understand? Saate aru. Okay, but so this is just to give you an idea. Ja see nüüd annab mingi that, aimu teile. That tõttu. our inner, inner... World et meie is made up of patterns. On täis sellised mustreid. Smaller or Väiksemaid greater patterns. Ja suuremaid. And the way we understand things are traveled along those patterns. Ja see, kuidas me asjadest aru saame, tuleneb nendest mustritest. It is not that we are just thinking new things every day. Ei ole nii, et me igal päeval mõtleme uusi mõtteid. Our, our inner world is kind of fixed. Selles mõttes on meie mõtte maailm nagu kinnistatud. Do you understand? And the way you are understanding things comes that, you know, when you see something, ja kui sa siis näed midagi, when you hear something, kuuled midagi, when you perceive something, ja kui sa ta paned tähele, directly it enters into your inner pattern. Ja see siseneb kohe mingisse mustrisse sinu sees. Okay? And you begin to understand it from that pattern. Ja sealt alat lähtudes hakkad sa nagu aru saama sellest või tõlgendama seda. Now, is, it, is that bad? Kas see on halb? Of course not. Ei That's ole. the way you are created. Sa oled loodud it's, nii. It's like a divine protection. See on tegelikult jumalik kaitse. It would be hopeless if you uh, each day woke up and you didn't know anything. See oleks kohuta, kui sa iga päev tõuseksid üles ja peal aia lõõtsas Because ei teaks üldse kohu pidan. Then you would be mõelda. like a newborn baby every day. Sa oleks nagu vast sündinu igal päeval. Lamp, lamp. <laughs> It's charming when it happens, you know. See on väga võlu, kui baby seda But teeb. if I woke up every uh, 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 morning and I met Veiko. Ja näiteks, kui, aga kui mina tõusin üles ja näen Veiko. Lamp, Veiko, lamp. Taata, Veiko, lamp. <laughs> would be hopeless. See oleks lootus, et... You understand? So it's a good thing. Nii, et see on tegelikult hea asi. But of course, the challenge is... Aga lapsiks siin on see... Is the pattern right? Is, is the pattern right? The pattern inside of the is this, is it the right pattern? Okay, küsimus on selles, kas see muster, mis on su sees, Amen? on õige. That is your inner pattern compatible with reality. Kas see muster, mis on sinu sees, on tegelikult reaalsusega nagu koha ühendu või kohane reaalsuse jaoks, mis väljas on? Because it is necessarily not so, of course. Sest see ei pruugi üldse nii olla. I can look at many, many times. Ma võin palju, palju kordi. I have looked at a beautiful woman. Ma olen tähelepanud mõnd ilusat naist. And I've said, my God, that, ja that girl is beautiful, you know. Wow, mi hukke tüdruk. I mean, it, Ta on nii ilus. It, it is a crime to be that beautiful. See on kriminaalne nii ilus olla. <laughs> you know, and, but then when you talk with a, with a girl, aga kui sa hakkad selle türukuga rääkima, so, I'm, I'm so ag- ugly, you know. I'm so, how can anyone... Siis sa kuuled, ma olen like inetu, keegi, I'm so, I'm so fat. Ma olen I'm nii so pakas. fat, you know, I'm, 
I'm useless. Ma olen täiesti kasutu. So thinking, my God, what is it something wrong with my eyes? Have I become blind? Kas ma olen pime? I have to go to shake my eyes, you know. Lähme kontrollime silmad. This woman in this woman is is you know amazing. See nine on fab. And still she in her own, you know. So the inner, the inner pattern. See sisemine muster. Is not corresponding to reality. Ei ole kohane selleks, mis on tegelikult reaalus. Ei kohandu sellega. And if you want to know something about reality, just come and talk with me. Okay. Ja, ja, kui sa taad midagi reaalus, sest teada, tule küsi minu käest. Okay. So, but you understand what I'm saying. Sa te aru, mis ma ütlen. So, it is not, it is not at all certain ei ole üldsegi kindel that what goes on inside of you et see, mis meie sest toimub is what is actually incompatible with what reality is. Et ta on tegelikult nagu adekvaatne reaalsusega Now, võrreldes. I mean, it can work the other way too, of course. See võib olla täiesti vastupidi. I mean, I saw, uh, I, uh, I, I saw a movie, just a short uh, snip of the movie. Nägin ühte lühikest filmi katket. Because my wife thought it was so boring. Sest mu näinud, et oh, see on nii kaab. <laughs> It's a, sometimes I can sit, you know, with my wife watching a movie. Mõnikord me naisega vaatame filme. And koos. we change movie five times. Ja me vahetame viis korda filmi. Because she's so, okay. Okay, just, 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 my God, and I flip. No boring movie. Ikav, film. Oh no, Ei, no ridiculous. It's not easy. <laughs> But anyway, we saw this, and it was about a woman, ja, a very rich woman, naisest. and she was uh, her, her her great passion in life. Et oli väga rikas ja tema suur kirgelus oli. Was to sing opera. Laulda ooperaid. Yeah, and she had her personal, you know, personal uh, uh, song trainer. Tal oli isiklik häle seal. Have you heard of that? She's very famous. Uh, I think uh, uh, Jen, Jenkins or Jen or something like Jenny that. Jenny Keegi, yeah. Yeah, and, and she, but she performed on the big stages. Ja siis ta läks ja esine suutel lavadel. And because she lavadel. was so famous and so rich, ja kuna ta oli nii rikas ja nii kuulus, everyone of course, oh, it's very, it's very good. Kõik know. läksid tema konsertile. I actually tega. read about uh, uh, Emperor Nero. Ja ma ükskord tukesin Keiser Nero kohta. You know, kohta. the one who, who slaughtered a lot of Christians. See, kes palju kristlasi tapis. And uh, probably crucified Peter and, and Paul ja and those guys. Ja ilmselt lõi Risti ka Paulus ja Peter. But he also, he was a, he, he loved uh, singing. Aga ta armastas ka laulis. And he had his own operas, you know. Ja Nero oli oma opera. And he sang for hours and hours. Ja nad lausid tundide ka opera seal. And he didn't sing very well. Ja kus kus Nero ei laulnud üldse hästi. But you know, everyone, no one could tell anything. Aga mitte keegi ei julged ju mida köelda. So he had a self-conception, you know. Nii et tal oli enesest pilt. That he sang beautifully. Et ta laulab ime ilusasti. But the rest of the world like. Üle, et maailm lihtsalt püüdis välja kannatada sellel. Ja see võib olla meiega ka nii, et meie sisemine muster ei ole adekvaatne välise maailma suhtes. Ja see, mida Paulus nüüd ütleb, is that when Christ comes into your life, on see, et kui Kristus tuleb sinu ellu, a process is going to take place. Hakkab tööle üks protsess. And that process is called the renewal of your mind. Ja seda kutsutakse meele uuendamiseks. Now, mind doesn't only mean your thoughts. Meel ei ole ainult sinu mõtted. But mind means your inner map, your inner path. Aga see on sinu sisekaart. If you like your inner world view. Sinu sisemine maailma vaade võib olla. And Paul says ja Paulus ütleb, that when the Holy Spirit comes, et kui püha vaim tuleb, He wants to work inside of you. Siis ta tahab teha tööd sinu sees. So that your inner pattern. Et sinu sisemsed mustrid. Be begins to be conformed. saavad nagu muudetud. With the way God sees. Ja kohandatud sellega kuidas Jumal asju näeb. A renewed mind is not a mind It's not when you think positive instead of negative only. Uuendatud meele ei ole see, et enne mõtlesin negatiivselt, nüüd mõtlen positiivselt. You understand? So I'm, oh, I was see. thinking very negative, now I'm thinking positive. Enne oli noh, see on negatiiv, nüüd olen väga positiivne. No, that is, see that ei ole see. That is positive thinking. See on lihtsalt positiivne mõtlemine. And that's good, that can be part of it. 
But the renewal of the mind Aga meile uuendamine is when your inner pattern kui sinu on see, kui sinu is beginning to correspond to the way God really sees things. Hakkavad ühenduma selle mõtte ja nägemisviisiga nagu Jumal, Jumalal and you, on. And you remember I quoted what Jesus said in John 16 yesterday. I have many things to say to you. Et mul on palju teile rääkida, but I cannot do it aga ma ei right saa seda teha praegu. But when he comes, aga kui tuleb tema, siis püha the vaim, spirit of truth, vaim, the parakletos, the help, paraklet, he will guide you into all truth. Siis ta juhib teid kõigesse tõtte. That is, he will guide you in to the way reality is really. Et ta viib teid sellesse reaalsusesse, mis Amen. tegelikult so, on so adekvaatne. So that is the definition of truth. Ja see ongi tõe, the definition, nagu, definition of truth is tõe definitsioon on how reality really is. Kuidas reaalsus tegelikult ongi. Amen. <laughs> And the only way to really get reality together ja ainuke viis üle üldse pihta saada tegelikule reaalsusele is through the holy spirit on läbi püha vaimu because then there will be a mix or a blend of the the natural and the spiritual selle pärast et seal on siis nagu segu sellest loomulikust ja vaimsest amen so amen are you with amen. me you haven't fallen asleep so far keegi maga okay. veel so what the holy spirit wants to do See, mida püha vaim tahab teha, is to begin to change on alustada ühte muutust this pattern inside of you nendes mustrites mis su sees on so it becomes totally in conform conformed with the way god sees Nii et things need lõpuks täiesti ühilduvad jumala mõtteviisiga amen and that's called the renewal of the mind ja seda nimetatakse Now, meele uuendamiseks paul says paulus ütleb that when this is happening et kui selline asi toimub an amazing thing takes place siis, in a a person's life. Siis inimese elus tuleb üks üks imeline asi esile. When in, in, in the same in, in the same measure samas samal määral that the renewal of the mind takes place. Kui on toimunud meile uuendamine. An ability arises within the believer. Tekib usklikus üks võimekus. And that ability is to recognize the will of God. Ja see on võimekus ära tunda Jumala tahet. Amen. Amen. Now many things that recognizing the will of God. Paljud asjad, mis nagu näevad Jumala tahet. You know, comes they want it presented for themselves. Kui paljud inimesed nad tahavad, et see Jumala tahe nagu pandaks like nende ette. You know, I'm saying this is the will of God for you. Need näiteks Peter ütleks, et see on Jumala tahe sinu elu jaoks. But you know, life has so many choices. Aga elus on nii palju valikuid. So many venues. Nii palju teid. So many turnings. Nii palju kurve. So it's it's uh, it's very hard. Need on tegelikult väga raske. To to kind of have direction for each and every one of them. Eh nagu juhatada iga ühele individuaalselt tema teed. So remember in the Old Testament. Eh tuletage meelde vana testamenti. That that God detailed he in detail he guided the people, you remember? Mäletate kuidas ta detailselt juhtis oma rahvast. With the cloud during Pilvega, the day. Päeval, and with fire during the ja night. Ja tule sampaga öösel. And he constituted in the law every little detail. Ja ja seaduses käsuseaduses see siis pandi nagu väga palju detailset But of course the result of that Aga selle kõige tulemus oli of that leading was that they became very infant, very childish. Et rahvas muutus tegelikult väga lapsikuks. Amen. And that's always happened when you are led from the outside of ja from juhtub, an outside of authority. See juhtub alati kui mingi välispidine autoriteet hakkab siis you juhtima. You always become kind of childish and dependent. Ja you sa, understand? Sa ja lapsikuks, ja so, so this the, so when when Jesus came, aga kui Jeesus tuli, he was a son, do you understand? Siis ta oli poe. And the whole concept of being a son. Ja kogu see pojaks olemise konseptsioon. And I want to develop that now. Ja ma ei arenda seda. The whole concept is that you are standing beside the father. See konseptsioon on selles, et sa seisad isa kõrval. And that was to be a son in the antique. See tähendas olla antiik maailmas poeks. That you stand poeks. beside your father. Sa seisad oma isa kõrval. Co, co heir. Sa oled nagu see kaas pärija. Amen. With the father. Okay. Isa pärija. So Jesus implements this 
concept. Ja Jeesus nüüd rakendab selle konseptsiooni. Now I am the first among many brethren. Ja ütleb, et mina olen esimene paljude vendade seas. And now the process must take place. Ja nüüd peab see protsess hakkama. Where each of his brethren. Toimuma kõik nende vendade juures. And even if you are a, a woman now you are a brother to Jesus, okay? Ja juures ka siis, ja. In the spiritual sense. So, so that each and every one of them will be formed according to his purpose. He's the first. And everyone will be formed after him. Amen. Romans 8. 29. So you can read that later. But, but that's what the scripture says. There. Okay, so the renewal of the mind is the process on process when god gets the possibility to by his spirit change your inner pattern so that you can begin to recognize the will of god amen you can just recognize it you get an inner ability to prove to test ja sul tekib ka võimekus sisemine võimekus seda järgi testida is this the will of god kas see on ikka jumala tahe and how does that test go about aga kuidas see testimine käib very easily väga lihtsalt you you compare your inner pattern seda sa võrdled oma sisemist mustrit with the outer pattern that you encounter selle välise mustriga millega sa silmits ei oled do you understand kas sa ataru the inner pattern inside of you sisemine mustrusus is compared to the thing you are encountering. But of course, if you have if you have a bad pattern inside, amen, that pattern will make you welcome things that is not profitable for you. That's why this process is so essential. Amen. It is so essential because it is the way God leads you into his will. Understanding the will of God is not a thing that comes spontaneously or from the outside. It is you being enabled to recognize how God is moving and working. Kuidas Jumal liigub maailmas, kuidas ta teeb tööd. You will recognize. So, so that's an, 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 an important uh, concept. So, now I was thinking about this. Ja mina nüüd siis käisin ringi ja mõtlesin selle peale. And I began to see ja hakkasin and understand korraga mõistma that Jesus was not only et Jeesus ei olnud ainult uh, a fantastic human being. He was kind of a blueprint, a kind of a template for all believers. Okay? You, you see, in his death and his resurrection, of course, he was totally unique. But the way he lived his life was kind of a blueprint for a new generation to grow up. Järgmistele põlvkondidele, kuidas see üles kasvada. And then one day, I read a word. Ja siis ma lugasin ühe sõna. From John chapter 8. Johannes 8. peatükist. And in this, Ja see on. Jesus had a dialogue with the Jews. Jeesusel on üks dialog juutidega. And then in verse 21. Ja salm 21. Ja salm 21. Then Jesus said to them again, I am going away and you will seek me and will die in your sins. Where I go, you cannot come. Siis ütles Jeesus taas, mina lähen ära ja te otsite mind ja te surete oma patudesse. Kuhu mina lähen, sinna ei saa teie tulla. So the Jews said, will he kill himself because he says, where I go, you cannot come. Nüüd ütlesid juudid, kas ta ehk kavatseb ennast tappa? et ütleb, kuhu ma lähen, sinna ei saa teie tulla. And he said to them, you are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Ja Jeesus ütles neid, et teie olete alt, mina olen ülalt. Teie olete sellest maailmast, mina ei ole sellest maailmast. And all of a sudden it clicked in me. Ja korraga mul plahvatas. The reason why Jesus was so different was that Jesus had a renewed mind what I would say a renewed mind <laughs> now 
in Jesus case it was probably not renewed. <laughs> no, Jesus se puhui vaikka se oli tuuetta tota. He just had a mind. Aga tal oli that se... mind had a different viewpoint. Aga se Jeesus se meel oma Amen? juba seda erinevat vaatepunkti. It says that you know you are from beneath. Ta ütleb juutidele siin, et te ei olete alt. I am from above. Aga mina olen ülevalt. Amen? So I suddenly understood ja korraga ma sain aru, that when I viewed the world in my unrenewed mind, et kui mina vaatan maailma ma uuendamata meelega, I view it from beneath. Siis ma vaatan seda alt. So to say from the point of sin. See tähendab mõnes mõttes ka patu Amen? seisukohalt. From the view of the enemy. Vaenlase seisuk vaate nurgas. He has always been a liar, it says. Ja, ja Biibel ütleb, et kurat on alati valetaja olnud. But when Jesus viewed Aga kui Jeesus vaatas maailma, he viewed it from above. Ta vaatas seda ülevalt. That is to say from the perspective of the Father. Ja see on isa läht vaateb nurgas siis. Amen. And then it clicked in me. Ja, ja ma sain aru. That was the difference between my proclamation and the seraphim's proclamation. Ja, ja siis ma sain aru, et see ongi see vahe minu kuulutuse ja seeravite kuulutuse vahel seal Jesaja. Amen. Because I viewed it from a point of heart. Sest mina vaatsin maailma sellest valu valu lähtekohast. From a point of misery. <laughs> selle häda lähtekohast. And then I proclaimed, oh, the earth is full of a lot of bad things. Ja, ja minu järeldus oli maailm on täis häda. And some good things too. Ja, ja seraf... and some good things too. Ja, ja võib-olla mõned head asjad ka. But when the seraphims viewed it, they aga, viewed it from above. Aga seeravid vaatasid seda asja ülevalt. So they said, ja nemad ütlesid, the earth is full of his glory. Et maailm on täis Jumala au. Amen. And then I began to ponder because I understood something. Ja kuna ma nüüd midagi olin mõistnud, maksin mõtlema. Why was Jesus so enormously effective Kuidas sai olla et Jeesus oli meeletult effektiivne in transferring the resources of heaven into people's lives Eh nagu üle tegema neid ülekandeid taevastest varudest inimeste eludesse Do you remember yesterday that I I I told you the story in John 5 about the blind man Eile ma rääksin teile Johannese 5. peat üks olevas pimedas mehes for 40 years Kes oli 40 aastat pime and the, the disciples asked the question has he or his parents sinned Ja jüngrid küsis kas tema või vanemad on patu teinud. And Jesus answered ja ne- neither he or his parents this is for the glory of God. Et ei tema ega ta vanemad vaid see on Jumala et Jumala au ilmsiks saaks. So what I realized Ja mina sain aru was that et when the disciples looked at the situation et kui jüngrid vaatasid seda olukorda they looked at it from below. Nad vaatasid seda alt jälle. And then the sin and the problem and the, all the pain siis tuli sealt patt ja probleem ja valu was seen in the situation you ja see oli see mida ne- nemad nägid but when jesus looked up on it aga kui jeesus vaatas seda probleemi he saw the glory of his father ta nägi oma isa au he saw the possible situation where his father could reveal his loving glory. Ta nägi ühte olukorda kus oli võimalik tema isa au esile tuua jesus tuua. went around looking Ja Jeesus käis ringi. And everywhere he looked. Ja vaat, kui huiganas ta vaatas. He saw glory. Ta nägi au. Amen. Everywhere he looked. Igale poole kui ta vaatas. In the poorest of poorest situation. Ka kõige hullemas olukorras. When a widow's son had died. Kui lese poeg oli ära suutnud. He saw the earth is full of his glory. Ta nägi maailm on täis Jumala au. When he saw Lazarus in the grave. Kui ta nägi Laatsarust hauad. He saw the earth is full of his glory. Ta nägi maailm on täis Jumala au. When he saw this, uh, the the lepers that no one would touch. Ta nägi pidalide põiseid, keda keegi tahtnud kuulata. The earth is full of his glory. Ta nägi et maailm on täis Jumala au. When he saw someone crying being being condemned of sin and, and hopelessness because she had broken her marriage. Kui ta nägi kedagi nutmas patu ja ja murtuse pärast selle pärast et oli abielu rikkunud he saw the earth is full of his glory nägi, et maailm on täis jumala au and it transferred forgiveness ja ja see tõi esile andeks amen do you understand 
So Jesus saw from above because he was from above. Ja ta nägi ülevalt, sest ta oli ülevalt päris. Amen. But we we see from below. Aga meie me näeme alt poolt. Why did God heal him for 40 years? Miks Jumal 40 aastat tegi tervitanud? Why does he have to suffer so much? Miks see inimene peab kannatama nii palju? Kus on Jumal? Kus on Jumal? You know, do you understand? Saate aru. So I just understood that Jesus had another pattern inside of himself. Ja mina sain aru, et Jeesus ja sees oli teissugune muster. And that pattern again and again manifested the goodness of God. Ja see muster tõi ikka ja jälle esile could, Jumala headuse. It could recognize his good, his pleasant, his perfect will. See tundis ära kogu aeg Jumala and hea ja pariba tahte. It could recognize that this blind man was not in the good and perfect will of God. See suutis näha, et see pime mees ei olnud Jumala heas tahtes veel. So Jesus saw what that would be. Ja Jeesus nägi, kuidas see võiks olla. And he released the power so it could happen. Do you ja ta vabastas vä, et see saigi Amen. sündima. It was not that Jesus went around. Ei olnud nii, et Jeesus käis ringi. And all of a sudden the Holy Spirit said to him. Ja, ja korraga piha vaim ütles talle. Oh, now you are going to do that. Nüüd sa hakkad seda tegema. Now you are going to do that. Ei, nüüd mine sinna me tee seda. Go there. Või mine sinna. It wasn't needed. See ei ole nii. Jesus just had to look at the situation. Jesus pidi lihtsalt vaatama Because he had an inner pattern that was compatible with the will of the Father. Sest tema sees oli muster, mis oli ühendatud isa tahtega. That's what he tried to explain in chapter 5. Ja seda ta üritab viiendas peatükis selgitada. Before this when he said, you know, I only do what I see my Father do. Ja siis ta ütlebki, et ma teen ainult seda, mida ma näen isa eest tegevad. It was not that he saw the Father taking a turn over there. Oh, yeah. Ja... Mitte nii, et ta nägi nagu isa äkki tuli kurv. It was that within him, he knew the father's heart. Ta teadis, mis on isa süda. Amen, because it was his pattern. Selle pärast, et tal oli sama muster. He said, my father is doing good things. Ja selle pärast ütles ta, minu isa teeb häid asju. And healing. Ja tõrvendas. And therefore I do it too. Ja selle pärast teen mina ka. I'm totally compatible with my father. Ma olen täiesti üheselt ühendatud oma isaga. So when this is beginning to happen. Ja kui need esad hakkavad juhtuma. You see, Jesus could go to the darkest place on earth. Jeesus võis minna kõige pimedamasse kohta maailmas. And darkness didn't invade him. Aga pimedus ei tunginud talle sisse. But what was inside of him invaded darkness. Aga see, mis oli tema sees, tungis pimedusse. Do you understand? When the leopards came, kui tulid pidalid õpised, everyone else flee. Kõik jooksid ära. They, they, they ran away. Nad põgenesid. I do not want to be taken in by this leprosy. Ma ei taha olla kontaktis selle pidalid Amen? õvega. They didn't want to touch us. Because their thought was that when they touched, that the leopard touched them, sickness would travel from the leopard into their system. Amen? And that's a normal thought if you are under sinful pattern. Ja see on normaalne aru saamine, kui sa oled selle patuse mustri mõtteviisis. But Jesus didn't think that way at all, did he? Aga Jeesus ei mõelnud ju nii. He thought when ütles, I touch the leopard, kui mina puudutan pidalid the healing in me siis tervenemine minus will go into the leopard. Amen. 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 So, you see, the way we act, see viis, the way me we touch, toimime, puudutame, the way situations are enveloped see, kuidas olukorrad arenevad, is based on the patterns we have inside of us. Tuleneb sellest, millised mustrid meie sees on. If we have a pattern of fear, Kui meil on hirmu muster sees, siis me tegutseme hirmust lähtuvalt. Amen. So, the seraphims proclaimed that there is, listen, there is no situation on earth et tegelikult ei ole maailmas ühtegi olukorda, mis ei oleks täis Jumala au. Ka kõige lootusetum olukord on täis Jumala au. Ja see on minu ja sinu asi vabastada see. See on meie üles. Mida Jeesus teach his disciples to pray? See, mida Jeesus õpetas oma üngritele paluma? Let Your kingdom come. Sinu riik tulgu. 
Let your will be done. Sinu tahtmine sündigu. On earth. Maa peal. As it is in heaven. Nõnda kui taevas. That's the key prayer. See on see võtme. And why is that the key prayer? Because it presents the exact idea of the assignment. Ja miks on see võtme koht on see, et ta nüüd esitleb seda meie ülesannet kõige täpseval viisil. And that's why when Jesus is presenting the kingdom, ja selle pärast, kui Jeesus esitleb Jumala riiki, he says like this, for example, ta nii, the kingdom Jumala riik is like a man on nagu mees, that went out on a field kes läks välja põllule, and he found a hidden treasure. Ja leidis peidetud varanduse. And when he found it, ja kui ta selle leidis, he traded everything for it. Ta müüs kõik maha, et saad or seda endale. The kingdom of God Või Jumala riik is like a man on nagu mees, trading with pearls. Kes ärites pärlitega. And when he find the pearl. Ja kui ta leidis selle kõige imelisema pärli. He traded pärli, it for everything. Siis ta müüs kõik so muu maha. So in other words, teiste sõnudega. With in reality. Selles reaalsuses. The glory of God Jumalau is hidden. On peidetud. And it is up to you and me to find it. Ja meid sina ja mina, me ei peame selle üles leidma. To reveal it. Ilmsiks tooma. Amen. To make it visible. Tegema selle nähtavaks. That's our assignment. See on meie ülesanne. But if we go around Aga kui meie käime ringi and we never so to say see the treasure. Ei, ja ei näe mitte kunagi seda varandust. Do you understand? We just see the field. Kui me näeme ainult seda põldu. We just, we just see the weed. Me näeme ainult umbrohtu. We just see the, the, the dirty things, the, the ugly things. Näeme pori ja inetust. Then the treasure will never be revealed. Siis ei saa see varandus kunagi esile tulema. Because it's covered with sin. Sest see on patuga kaetud. Do you understand? Everything in the world is covered by sin. Kõik siin maailmas on kaetud patuga. But by the redemption of God. Aga Jumala lunastus töö tõttu. His people. Tema rahvas can reveal the treasure beneath. Võib selle patu alt tuua esile selle varandus. And that God has never left us. <laughs> ja Jumal ei ole meid kunagi maha jätnud. Maha jätnud, hüljanud. He has still a great plan for every individual. Ja tal on Amen. endiselt iga ühe jaoks imeline plaan. Isn't that something? Kas see pole eriline? Amen. It's wonderful. See on imeline. So when you allow the Holy Spirit. Nii et kui sina lubad pühal vaimul to begin to speak to you enda vastu rääkima hakata Amen. to begin to form you sin kujundama hakata then this process takes place siis hakkab see protsess sündima therefore i have to say to you therefore you have to make it your top priority in ja selle pärast ma ütlen et see peab olema teie kõige esimene prioriteet to one be under the of anointed leaders kõige pealt olla very important võitud juhtide õpetuse all and to being in the context of the of the fellowship i talked about that last summer the koinonia ja fellowship. olla siis sellises õiges Amen. osaduses eelmine suvi ma rääksin sel koinonia because those two things when they are beginning to work sest kui need kaks asja saavad kokku ja hakkavad toimima is meant to transform you see hakkab sind muutma and get you in inner pattern ja hakkab sinu see tekitama neid sisendi muskeid totally compatible mis on võrdväärsed Amen with with the way God works. Sellega mida Jumal teeb. You know the Bible says. Piibel ütleb. That guys like me. Et sellised mehed nagu mina. They are called ministry gifts. Eh neil on teatud teenimise annid. So our job meie ees is to, to the local churches. Eh on kohalikale kogudustele. Come with this implement those kind of concepts do you understand eh tulla ja nagu tuua kohale need sellised mõtted ja ideed and then the local leadership aga see kohalik juht takes hold of those concepts et peab võtma need konseptsioonid and begins to do exactly the way that jesus continues to describe the kingdom of god ja ja hakkama tegema täpselt nii kui jesus kirjeldas kuidas on jumala riik the kingdom of god is like a dove eh jumala riik on nagu tuvi and you work you know the the sour uh, Um, Ai, see on nagu tainas. Into it. Ja, ja selles, selles on pärm. So this is exactly what, uh, what Pastor Veiko and the other guys uh, 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 are doing in the leadership. Ja, ja see on täpselt see, mida Veiko ja teised juhid teevad praegu. They are taking this revelation nad võtavad selle ilmutuse, that they receive, mida nad on saanud. Because it is not always that local pastors can have that revelation. Do you understand? See ei ole ka alati nii, et kohalikul pastoril on see ilmutus. That's why God has given gifts to the church. 
Ja selle pärast Jumal on annud annit kogudusele. That's the specific assignment. See on eriline ülesanne. It doesn't make them better or more important. See ei muuda neid pastoreid paremaks, It's just their addition. See on lihtsalt üks lisa. But then they are taking it. Siis nad võtavad selle ilmutuse. Ja hakkavad seda pärmi sinna taigna sisse nüüdkima. Sõtkuma seda sinna. Ja, ja sellest saab üks võimas ja väärine That's uus reaktus. Täpselt nii me töötame koos. Now, most of you know this church in, in, in the States called Bethel. Ja paljud teist teavad Betteli kogudus. Where Bill Johnson and the guys are. Amerikas, kus Bill Johnson lõpetab. Now, I listened lõpetab. to his story. Ja ma kuulake tema lugu. And it struck me that exactly the teaching that I had understood was the way they had worked. Ja ta võites selle sama õpetusega, milles mina alguses arvasin. They got revelation nad said ilmutuse. about heaven invading earth. Selles, kuidas taevas tungib maa peale. And then they began to preach it and teach it. Ja nad hakkasid seda jutlustama ja õpetama. Ja rakendama. Almost no result whatsoever. Ja alguses ei olnud mitte mingit tulemusi. One time they had a church gathering speaking about who they should be. Neil oli koosulek ja nad rääksid sellest, millised peaksid olema. And then they just said like this. Ja siis ta ütles nii. Come Holy Spirit, do whatever you like. Tule peha vaim, tee mida iganes. And among the several hundreds that were there. Ja seal oli mitu tuhat inimest. One guy. Üks mees. One person. Üks inimene. Was shaking a little. Hakkas värisema natuke. And then they said. Now we have it. <laughs> Amen. They received it. They just, they just understood it's just a, it's a matter of time. And then they rubbed it in. You know, worked it in. Day after day, week after week, year after year, worked it in, worked it in, worked it in. Now I listened to him a couple of years ago and he said like this. Nowadays, Praegusel ajal I can truly say ma võin tõeliselt öelda, that there is not one day in Bethel where Bet a miracle doesn't happen. Petris ei ole ühtegi päeva, kus imed ei sünni. Amen. So they, they started from nothing. <laughs> nad alustasid peaga mitte millestki. And they were very honest and said for years there were ja, ja nad not great results. Aitasid seda protsessi but nagu aastaid. But we had the revelation aga neil oli ilmutus and we worked it in so our inner patterns ja nad lubasid sellel muuta sisemisi mustreid began to correspond with the revelation. Ja need hakkasid ilmutusega adekvaat nagu ühendusse minema. And then we worked it into people. Ja siis me sõtusime selle inimestesse. We rubbed it in again and again. Me hõõrusime selle neid ja sisse. Slowly, slowly, ja väga, väga their pattern began to change. And instead of misery, and instead of sin, ja asemel, and instead of hopelessness, asemel, they saw the glory. Nad au Let heaven invade earth. Amen. Maa peale. The same is true for us. Ja meie jaoks on see sama asja. Now, tõsi. God leads us in, in another way. We are other people. Jumal viib meid võib-olla teiste, et me oleme teistsugused inimesed. But the inimesed. same truth is accessible for us. Aga see sama tõde on kätte saada Amen. meile. We get the revelation. Me saame ilmutuse. And we start to work it into people. Ja hakkame seda sisse <laughs> nagu töötama. And finally, we ha have the eyes of heaven we see from above. Ja lõpuks on meil see nägemine, mis tuleb ülevaga. I know one church in, in Stockholm. Kordmaal on ühes Stokholmi koguduses. Every, every Thursday they have something they call treasure hunt. Neil on iga neljapäev selline asi nagu aarde jaht. I like that. Mulle see meeldib. So what they mean see, is that they go out nad lähevad välja to find the treasures that God has hidden et, within. Et leida need varandused, mida Jumal on peitnud väljas. I, I, I like that concept. Amen. Mulle meeldib see konseptsioon. Wonderful. Imeline. Because that's our assignment. Sest see on meie ülesanne. Your assignment Sinu ülesanne. is not to stand and, you know, be ei miserable ole, with everyone else. Ei ole püst, seal seista ja olla õnnetu kõikide teiste pärast. But you, you will definitely be the, that if your inner pattern Aga sa oled see püstiseise võnnetu sunnik. Is still from below, do you understand? Kui su mustrid tulevad when, alt. Then when you meet a miserable situation, ja kui sa siis kohtud veel õnnetu pattern, olukorraga. Inner pattern will respond to that. Ja siis su sisemine õnnetu muster reageerib oh, sellele. Ja siis oh, on, where is God? Siis on jube olla. Has he abandoned us? Kõik you understand? On meid maha It's only natural. See on lihtsalt It's only nii. natural. See on loomulik. In a pattern, responding et, to the outward situation. But when it changes, Aga kui see on muutunud, you see the glory of God. Siis sa Jumal au. And you begin to do what you can to pull ja it out. Ja sa hakkad tegema seda, mida <laughs> sa suudad, et Amen. seda sisse I can, nagu I can truly say that I'm ja ma võin tõesti öelda, 
in thousands of situations et tuhandetes olukordades have seen this happen ole näinud kuidas see sünnib people being in hopeless situations inimesed lootusetutes olukordades and the holy spirit you know ja pühavaim beginning to pour into me hakkab sisse valama minusse a little thought ühte väikest mõtet you know how is it about this you know aga kuidas oleks niimoodi and then i speak it out ja siis ma ütlen selle välja and heaven opens ja taevas avaneb and the people understand ja inimesed saavad aru god is here Jumal on siin. He has not abandoned me. Ta ei ole mind maha jätnud. Ma ei ole üksi. There is hope for my situation. Do you understand? Ka selles olukorras. Amen. We have we have people in church. Meil on koguduses inimesed. They are amazing. Nad on hämmastavad. They, they, they go and do this every day. Nad teevad seda iga päev. On their workplaces. Oma töökohtades. In, in this very very simple. Väga lihtsalt. They don't stand like this. Nad ei seisa lihtsalt nii. In the name of Jesus. Jeesuse nimel. So saith the Lord. Nii ütleb Jumal. No, they just can come to a person. Ta tuleb lihtsalt inimese juurde. How are you feeling today? Kuidas sa tunned ennast täna? Okay, you know. Mm. Mm, I've been thinking about the thing, you know. Ma olen mõelnud sinu peale, tead. And then they say something that the Lord has poured into their mind. Ja siis nad ütlevad midagi, mida Jumal on nende meelde pannud. Amen. Because they are trained not to think, oh, what an awful situation. I'm, Sest nad on I juba should, treenitud mõtlema, nii, mitte mõtlema that. nimelt, et oh, oh milline juba olukord, ma parem ei puuduta seda. God is here. Aga ta tunnevad, Jumal on siin. And he loves this person. Ja ta armastab seda inimest. There, is, there must be a way Siin peab olema üks tee to bring out the will of God in this situation. Tuua esile Jumala tahe selles olukorras. Amen. 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 And I could tell you a lot of stories about that. Ja siin on palju lugu siit, ma võiks rääkida. Okay. So this is a perfectly travelable way for us. We can travel this way. Ja see on ideaalne tee rada, mida mida pidi minna. Hallelujah. So you see, I just want to end now with the scripture. No, ma tahaksin ühe kirja, pühakirja paigaga lõpetada. Because the main passage we have been in Ja see peamine kirjakoht, kus me oleme olnud, have been in 1 Corinthians 2. On olnud esimese Korintuse teine peatükk. And we read from verse 12. Ja me hakkasime 12. salmist lugema. Uh, the first night. Esimesel õhtul. And it said now we received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might know the things that we have been freely given to us by God. Ja me lugasime seda, et aga meie ei ole saanud maailma vaimu, vaid the, vaimu, kes on Jumalast, et me võiksime teada, mida Jumal meile armust kingib. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but what the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Seda me siis ka räägime, mitte inimtarkuse õpetatud sõnadega, vaid vaimu õpetatud sõnadega võrreldes vaimsed asju vaimsetega. But the natural man does not re- receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness for him, and he cannot know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Aga maine inimene ei võta vastu midagi, mis on Jumala vaimust, sest see on temale narrus ja ta ei suuda seda tunnetada, sest see tuleb mõista vaimselt. But he who is spiritual judges all things yet he himself is rightly judged by no one kuid vaimne inimene mõistab kõike ent teda ennast ei suuda mõista keegi and that's exactly what paul was saying in romans uh, 12:3 also ja täpselt sama ütleb paulus rooma 12:3 through the renewal of your mind läbi meele uuendamise you can prove sa võid tõestada you can touch you, you can test puudutada läbi proovida the will of god jumala tahet the spiritual judges all things Ja sest vaim he can, kaalub kõik asjad järgi. He can understand is this from God. Ta saab öelda, kas see But on listen now what he says. Ja nii, siis ta ütleb nii. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? Sest kes on tunnud isanda meelt, kes võib teda juhatada? But we have the mind of Christ. Aga meil on Kristuse meel. Amen. Amen. So that's the thing. Just see ongi see asi. That's why I can say like this. Selle pärast saan ma know, this was what Jesus said and how he was successful. See oli see, mida Jeesus tegi, miks ta nii edukas oli. And the plan of God. Ja Jumala plaan. Is that through the spirit of God. Et läbi püha vaimu. You might be conformed to his pattern. Et sina võiksid saada muudetud tema mustrites arvasest. So you have the mind of Christ. Et sul võiks olla Kristuse meel. And then you will release the glory of ja God. Ja siis vabastad sina au sinu. Amen. Isn't that amazing? Kas pole hämmast? I'm excited. Mina olen põnev. Amen. So I go home excited. Ma olen täiesti põnev. And you keep on being depressed if you like. Ja te võite depressiooni jääda, kui tahate, aga mina olen põnev. I have choice already. Amen. Ma olen oma valiku juba teinud. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring out the glory of God. 
Mina kavatsen Jumala au esile tuua. In as tuua. many people, nii paljudes at as many situations, in as many instances as possible. Ja, ja institutsioonides, kus võimalik. Amen? And sin and misery, I leave that to the devil to be ja, able to see pat ja häda ork, see jääku kuradele. <laughs> He's already into that business. Ta on juba nii kui nii selles But I'm sees. focused on doing good. Mina keskendun hea tegemisele. Amen? Selle. Amen. So let's stand to our feet. Tõuseme üles. So you see, I've tried to teach you nagu saate aru, ma olen püüdud teid õpetada how to move kuidas liikuda from a place of worldly patterns maailma mustritest from a natural mindset loomulikust mõtteviisist when it comes to the things of God kui tulla Jumala asjade juurde when it comes to the things of God, okay kui see tuleb Jumala asjade juurde and move over ja liikuda üle to walk in the spirit paimus kõndimisse getting your mind renewed kuidas saada oma meel uuendatud beginning to see things the way god sees them hakata nägema asju nii nagu jumal neid näeb and having the mind of christ ja kuidas lõpuks omandada kristuse meel man it's wonderful ja see on vinge <laughs> thank you know when we begin to see each other the way that the lord saw people kui me hakkame üks teist nii nägema nagu isand näeb that is you know isn't isn't that the plan of god you think kas see pole jumala plaan I mean, take jesus võta jesus he went around doing good all the things ta käis ringi ja tegi head kogu aeg and then multiply him with millions of believers ja yes, nüüd paljunda see kõik miljonite usklike kaudu can we change the world or not kas me saame maailma muuta või saab amen we could me saame each and every one iga üks meist saab would do five percentage of your jesus did it's at least five percent is less than jesus tegi I mean I think we could do 100% what he Ma arvan, et me võiks 100% ka teha. I think we are called to grow into that. Ma arvan, et me, me but, peame but sinna say, kasvama. But say that we did 1% Isegi kui me teeme ainult ühe protsenti sellest, mis Jeesus tegi. <laughs> but then multiplied with a couple of of millions. Aga believers. aga paljunda see paari kümne miljoni võrra. Man could anyone stand against the kingdom of god kas keegi siis saab veel jumala riigi vastu seda every workplace igas töökohas every school igas koolis every family igas perekonnas you know every every layer of society igas ühiskonna kehis would be invaded by the goodness of god on on olnud siis saab olema sisse tung jumala everywhere ja someone would care for someone else igal pool keegi hoolitseb kellegi teise eest and see the glory of god ja näeb jumala au amen <laughs> it would be amazing see on hämmastav see on võratu that's the plan of god ja see on jumala plaan and i believe that now is the time ja mina usun et nüüd on aeg when he is reactivating this kus jumal aktiveerib selle asja in a totally new level täiesti uuel tasandel and we will come to understand what is meant with that the spirit is poured up uh, out upon all flesh ja me hakkame täitsa teistmoodi aru saama sellest mis tähendab kui vaim on välja valatud kõige liha peale do you know kas sa tead that when when secularization kui sekulariseerimine humanism humanism atheism ateism has grown as philosophies on earth on nagu arenenud filosoofiatega the church has grown much much more siis kogudus on tegelikult kasvanud ja arenenud palju rohkem amen do you know that by by the time when we turn from the 1800s to the 1900s et selleks aegs kui 18. saand lõppes 19. algas almost no one knew what it was to move in the spirit and speak in tongues aga vabandust 19. lõppes 20. algas siis selleks ajaks veel mitte keegi ei teadnud kuidas liikuda vaimus ja mida tähendab keeltes rähmas now the pentecostal charismatic movement aga nüüd on äh, nelipühi liikumine and then you guys are even not even counted <laughs> ja 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 karismaatiline liikumine because you're, you're in the baptist movement ja ja teid me veel pole üldse sisse lugenud te olete baptistid you, you are not supposed to do these things te ei peaks üldse neid asju tegema Amen. but in the charismatic pentecostal movement aga karismaatilises ja neli liikumises somewhere between seal on kusagil umbes 600 million and 1 billion people eh, moving in the spirit of god speaking in tongues uuesaja või seismesaja tuhande ja ühe miljardi vahel inimesi kes käivad vaimus ja teevad need asju and by the day it is rapidly increasing ja see 
kiirelt kasvab praegu. I see that as a fulfillment of scripture. Mina näen, et siin on üks pühakirja täitumine. Darkness covers the earth. Kus pimedus on katnud maad. Confusion is coming upon Segadus on tulnud üle inimeste. But over you, upon you. Aga teie peale. The glory of God is arising. On tõuseb Jumala auhigus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think we live in the most exciting time. Ma arvan, me oleme jube põneval ajal. We, you know, others have run the first uh, lap, you know. <laughs> we are going to end uh, uh, being in the, in, 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 you know, the, the last part. And it, almost in the last part, you know. You have to run faster. Now we are seeing the, the goal, you know. The, the best is coming out. The best runners are saved for the last. Ja parim those who are going to make the final run. Kes teevad selle jooksu võidu jooksuks. It's you and me. Amen. Ja nüüd oled sina ja mina. God has called us for this time. Ja Jumal on kutsunud meid selles aega. And, and if we look around. Ja kui me vaatame ringi. And we see just uh, hopelessness and, 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 and uh, disparity. Ja näeme ainult ebavõrdsust ja ja lootusetust. It's because we are not we are looking from below not above Sest siis me vaatame alt poolt ja mitte ülevalt <laughs> but when we begin to look from above kui me hakkame ülevalt vaatama we can see god is with us <laughs> siis me näeme et jumal on meil ja tema kasutab meid he will meil. come with his spirit ta tuleb oma vaimuga and we have seen nothing yet ja me ei ole veel midagi näinud amen can you say amen to that ölge aamen selle peale i am inspired you know ma olen väga inspireeritud not because i think everything is easy in life ma ei mõtle selle pärast et kõik on kerge või lihtne but because i've been together with the holy spirit aga ma olen olnud koos ühe vaimuga and i have seen what he has seen ja ma, ma olen näinud <laughs> mis ta on näinud ma olen juhtunud tema ligialus and so should you ja et sina peaksid ka olema because you are his precious son and daughter sest sina oled tema kalli hinnaline tütar ja poe you are his chosen vessel sa oled tema valitud you priest you are the one his eyes is upon sina oled see kelle peal tema silmad on and if you cannot see that ja kui sa ei suuda seda näha it's because you have to change pattern siis pead sa mustreid muutma then you will see it ja siis sa hakkad nägema and then you will know siis sa tead i am important ma olen tähtis ma olen oluline my life is important minu elu on tähtis i have a purpose mul on eesmärk the spirit of god lives inside of me jumala vaim elab mu sees i am a son and a daughter of the most high ma olen kõige kõrgema poe <laughs> ja tütar even if i struggle in life ja isegi kui ma näen vaeva elus hard very hard ja kui mu elu on väga raske he lives inside of ta elab minu sees and his purposes will be done ja tema eesmärgid saavad täidetud hallelujah in the name of Jesus it's so important. Jeesuse nimel see on nii väga oluline. It's so important that I get you to get into this thing. Ja see on nii tähtis et ma saaksin teid selle asja sisse. You know we must be guided. Sest meid on vaja juhtida. By the glory inside of us. Selle auhilgusega mis on meie sees. Paul says that's our secret. Paulus ütleb et see ongi meie saladus. Do not fix your eyes on the things below. Ja ta ütleb, et ärge kinnitage oma silmi ja vaadate selle peale, mis on all. Your eyes. Aga vaadake sellele, mis on ülaval. On him. Jeesusele. Because. Sest you have been purchased, you have been bought. Sest teid on ostetud. And now you have a life, a hidden life with Christ. Ja teil on peidetud elu Kristuses. And Paul says in Colossians. Ütleb Kolossa kirjas niimoodi just Paulus. Just right before this passage he says. Enne just seda kohta ütleb the mystery among the saints see saladus see müsteerium pühade keskel christ's glory in them kristuse auhilgus nende sees so listen this this you have to be guided by the glory inside of nii et sisemine jumal auhilgus peab olema see mis juhib sind not the mystery outside mitte see hädaorg väljapool amen Amen. Because there is a lot of misery outside of you. Selle pärast et väljas on väga palju häda ja viletsust. There are misery in relationships. See on suhetes. There are misery in workplaces. See on töökohtades. There are misery in bodies. <laughs> see on uh, there are misery in bodies. Ja inimeste ihudes. There are misery in finances. <laughs> Finansides. There are misery everywhere everywhere everywhere. Igal pool kuhu me vaatame on häda. But in you resides the glory of God. Aga teie sees on Jumala auhilgus. And that's your secret. Ja see on teie saladus. <laughs> It's hidden within you. See on peidetud teie sisse. And when you release it. Ja kui te vabastate selle. The world outside will begin to absorb it. Siis see teid ümbritseb maailm hakkab seda nagu sisse võtma. Hallelujah. So let's pray together. Palvetame koos. Father, we just thank you this morning. Isa me lihtsalt täna me sind ühes koos. For the glory of God. 
seda au, Jumala au hilgus ees. That it is everywhere. See on lihtsalt igal pool. Everywhere. Et see on igal pool. The whole earth is full of your glory. Et maailm on täis sinu au. There is, there is not one place. Ei ole ühtegi kohta. Like this, David says in the Psalms. Nii nagu Taavet ütleb lauludes. If you would make yourself a bed in the Hades. Isegi kui ma peidaksin ennast surma vallas. My light would still be there. Minu elu oleks ikka, mu valgus oleks ikka seal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is not one person. Ei ole ühtegi inimest. Not one situation. Ühtegi olukorda. That is out of reach for you, Jesus Christ. Mis on Jeesuse Kristuse haarde ulatusest väljas. You went väljas. beneath it all. Sina olid selle kõige all. You went to the darkest place. Sa läksid kõige, kõige sügavamasse kohta. To, to the most horrible situation. Kõige hullemasse olukorda. And you went up again. Ja sa läksid üles. And you were resurrected. Ja sa ei tõud tõsteti ära tati üles. And you are alive. Ja sa oled elav. And you love humans. Ja sa... You love the people. Ja, ja sa armastad inimesi. And you love the creation. Ja sa armastad loodut. And you have given us the assignment of reconciliation. Ja sa oled meile annud lepitusameti. To reach out. Sirutada välja. Into people. Inimesteni. And we don't care if they don't want it. Ja, ja me ei hooli selles, kui nad ei taha seda. Because we know. Sest meie teame. That in you, Jesus Christ. Et sinus, Jeesus Kristus. Is peace. On rahu. And abundance. Ja küllus. And love. Ja armastus. In you sinus is, is eternal security. On igavene turvalisus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will be loved forever and ever and meid, ever. Sa armastad meid igavesti ja igavesti. Never alone again. Meil on mitte kunagi üksi enam. Hallelujah. And we want to give that message. Ja me tahame selle sõnumi edasi anda. So Father, this morning, ja isa sellel hommikul, we ask you, me palvame ja sinu, anoint us võia meid by the power of the Holy Spirit. Püha vaimu väega so that we might receive et me võiksime vastu võtta your spirit sinu vaimu even more isegi veel rohkemal määral that your power would invade our minds and our emotions et sinu vägi tungiks meie meeldesse meie tunnetesse that we will be vessels of the most high et me saaksime kõige kõrgema anumateks father we submit ourselves isand me aistame alandame ennast so that we can be renewed et sina saaksid meid uuendada and we can begin to see the things that you see ja et me hakkaksime nägema asju mida sina näed in Jesus name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Jesus name.